You again? I'd like to speak with Danton, please. Fine. Wait here. Oh, now you just let me talk to her. I thought I did that already. Okay, never mind. It's fine. Progress. <laughs> so you're back. What is it now? I know who you are and what your people are doing. I'd, I'd like to help. I'm flattered that you want to help us, but I feel we have some matters to resolve first. What matters are those? Enough of these games. You're going to have to start telling me the truth if you want to get out of here alive. What? I have been. Let's not be so drastic. Don't play coy with me, Blondie. Do you think I'm stupid? I had you followed when you left here. I know you went to the Ministry of Energy. Now I'm only gonna ask you this once, and I want the truth. Are you working for Tiberius or aren't you? You do realize people need to do lottery jobs to survive, right? It doesn't mean I like the guy. A lottery job? Oh, I see. And what other choice have I got? It's not like I can walk up to the Ministry of Medicine and buy a dose. I'm so sorry. You don't deserve what's happening to you. This is why we have to act. They've been beating us down for so long, nobody remembers a time when they were prosperous and free. Struggling against the system may not be pretty, but it's the only way we can improve our lives. Danton, if she's got a connection to Tiberius, she could prove useful. You know, you're right. Having another double agent would be beneficial to us now that we've lost Milton. But I'm not gonna make you this offer for free. I'd hate for Tiberius to outbid me for your loyalty. Instead of hoping your lottery ticket gets chosen, how about you end up with as many actual doses of vaccine as you want? Are you saying you have vaccine to give me if I help you? Not just yet, but if all goes to plan, we will. I'll tell you more as soon as you help us out with something. Are you familiar with the junk vendor and butcher in the market? Gordon and Gus? Of course. They're good friends of mine. Then it may interest you to know that they work for me. I had no idea. They usually spare us some of their extra supplies, but they've been unable to keep up the last few months. I suspect they've fallen on hard times. See what's going on with them and help them if you can. Once you've finished, come back here, and we'll do what we can for you. Oh, and when you talk to them, use the code phrase, I've got the perfect life. That will let them know you're working for me. Now get to it. Don't come back here until you've finished. And remember, I expect your loyalty. If you set foot anywhere near the Ministry of Energy, I don't want to see you meet an unfortunate end. I'm sure you understand. Well, that was plenty, uh, concerning. Alright, so they both think I'm working as a double agent for them against the other one, and they're both promising to, uh, help me get my doses. I wonder if I actually get a decision about which one I side with, or if the story just plays itself out. Either way, I have options to try to get myself, uh, healthy again. The problem is, there's a pretty good chance I'll get myself killed along the way. Hey, Gordon. Hey, Amy. What are you looking for? You know, if you helped me today, I'd have the perfect life. You mean... Ah, I see. Be careful where you say that, Amy. Right. Sorry. Anyway, what are you doing to help the others? A little extra scavenging for items they might find useful. But lately, I've been too distracted by the situation with my daughter. You'd think that for all the crap I collect, I'd have found something to at least try and make her a more effective mask. Only place I haven't had a chance to check out lately is the old Centrex factory. Even though I'm not sure there'd be much of use in there. I just want her to be safe. Losing my wife was bad enough, I can't lose her too. I know, Gordon. I know. I'll keep an eye out for what you need. You just try to relax. That would be awfully kind of you, Amy. Anytime. Bye, Gordon. Goodbye, Amy. Come back anytime. All right, we're on the lookout for mask materials. Those do not a Yeah, let's just put a bucket on our head. We're set. No, I also don't think I currently have the materials that'll help me there. Just couldn't stay away, could you? No, I haven't quite reached today's quota of looking at dead meat. How are you doing today, Gus? Cause I've got the perfect life. Shh, not so loud. Sorry. So, how long have you been, you know? About a year now. But why? Isn't it risky for you? Sure, but to be honest, I, I kind of like the excitement. It makes me feel like I'm part of something important. 
Plus, things need to change. Just look around you. We can't live like this. Kids can't grow up like this. Danton's gonna bring back the old days. Anyway, I was told you were having some trouble, so I wanted to help. I'm not sure what you can do, but swing by the farm if you want. Pop was asking about you the other day. If nothing else, talk with him a bit. He misses you. See you later, Gus. You bet. I can totally see this being a case where the uh, where Danton just turns out to be just as full of empty promises or harmful to society as the people that she's trying to fight against. So where these stories like to go sometimes. So there's Pop's farm, and there's the Centrex factory. All right, let's go. By, let's pop by the farm. Did not quite mean to phrase it that way. All right. Oh God, that smell. I think I might be sick. Amy, is that you over there? Hey, Pop. Gus said you'd been asking after me. It's been ages since I last saw you. Come over here and let's have a look at you. Are you under the weather, Pop? I'm not, but I can't say the same about my sheep. Take a look around. Hell, just take a whiff. That's the stench of failure. Things are bad. Don't know if we'll be able to dig ourselves out of this hole. Did your sheep get sick? What happened? Ran out of feed, so half of them starved to death. It's not a pretty picture. I haven't been able to find anything else they'll eat. The farm's gone barren, and now the only thing I'm feeding is ravens. Truth is, if I can't come up with a way to keep the rest of the flock from dying, I'm done for. I'll keep an eye out for anything that might help. That'd be mighty kind of you. Why are all these ravens hanging around? Well, they're hungry too. Now that they got plenty of carrion, it's an open buffet for them. Little bastards have gotten bold, too. Nothing I do seems to keep them away for long. At least having them around means nobody comes snooping around. They run off at first sight of them thanks to that kooky reaper cult. I think we're having the same kind of day. What's the matter? This morning I found a man underground. He'd been crushed underneath some rubble. Pulling that trigger was the hardest thing I've ever had to do. I'm sorry, Amy, but it sounds like you did the right thing. Did I, though? I could have found someone to help. Why did he have to die? You listen to what the man wanted, it sounds like. In this hell hole, that's all we can ask for in our last moments. I guess you're right. Of course I'm right. Like he said, even if you had gotten him out, you wouldn't have had much of a life left to live. It's not something anyone likes thinking about, but it's reality. I know. I mean, I see death almost every day, but this was different somehow. Thanks, Pop. I think I needed to just get that off my chest. Anytime, Amy. I didn't realize you knew so much about the Reaper cult. I don't, and I don't want to. They're just a bunch of freaks who think worshiping the Reaper is gonna make them die quicker. But I thought the Reaper was just a story. It is, but they think the Ravens are a sign that the Reaper is on his way to take them away from their woes. So naturally, any half-wit who believes that crap and sees a Raven gets scared and goes running in the other direction. Bunch of bullhickey, all of us. Anyway, it's best if you stay away from the Reaper cult. Don't want to put any ideas in your head. Don't worry. I met one of them earlier. I'm not going anywhere near them if I can avoid it. have to go now. Come back and visit whenever you like. It's looking like I might be able to say I've got the perfect life to everybody in the game, but I'm only going to say it, I think, to people that they say I should say it to, because otherwise I'm at the risk of outing myself. Just you don't want to just randomly spread it around to everybody. I wish these birds would stop staring at me. So we need something that would feed sheep. I have a bucket. So if I can find the stuff I need, I can probably bring it in that bucket or something and show them that. Poor thing. It doesn't seem to be doing a very good job of scaring away birds. Can't understand why. That gas mask on the face is pretty damn creepy. Can I scare away the birds? Shoo! Nope. Not quite. Pop's been like a second father to me. I remember when he was always smiling and joking, but lately he's just been looking really old. Yep, that's all he does all day. Look old. Say, Pop, would you mind if I took this gas mask? Nah, no, it's fine. Not doing too great a job scaring the birds, so I doubt taking it off will make much of a difference. Hope you weren't planning on using it, though. The filter's no good. That's fine. 
I'm sure I'll find some use for it. All right, I'm on the right track then. A gas mask with a broken filter. So if I can get a, a fixed filter, then I can use that as the uh, mask for the little girl. The gas mask's filter is empty, which makes it pretty useless. But the, it's the device though, at least. It's a start. That old thing has been broken for years. I don't know why Pop doesn't just take it down. Because he's ancient. Why do you think? He's just gonna sit around on, the, on a farm and wait for a sheep to die. Don't judge him. All right, here's our other new location. We have to keep an eye out for new objects we can use. Centrex. I remember hearing a lot about them. They're the ones who used to manufacture all the uranium glass before the bombs. It just says furnace. I guess it's meant to be some sort of warning. It just says. I would have expected these things to be completely boarded up, or at least sealed. Well, then maybe someone's inside. Huh, it's unlocked. That's kind of surprising. Denby, what are you doing here? Oh, you know, living. That's what people do, I hear. Did you run away from home? I don't really want to talk about it. You can hang out here if you want, though. It's nice to have some company. He looks like he might have been here for a while. There's all these... There's all this art hanging up everywhere. These are nice. It's like you've turned this place into a private gallery. Yeah, I keep them around for inspiration. Aww. He's more of an artist than just someone... some kind of train. It doesn't smell very nice down there. That's not my fault, in case you were wondering. I wasn't, but thanks for the clarification. So he's, he has some sort of art focus besides just randomly drawing on walls. Pretty. Too bad the legs are broken. Yeah, I wonder how that happened. That furnace could really be useful. This is a really great find. Yeah, it's pretty cool, isn't it? Don't think I have anything furnace worthy, right? Or a reason to want it, but we'll keep an eye out. This one doesn't look finished. No, it's still a work in progress. Is that supposed to be me? Yeah, you're the only woman I know who isn't old and wrinkly, so you're way easier to draw. <laughs> Less lines, that's for sure. Nothing in there but ash. <laughs> what? I said ash, Denby. Denby looks right at home in here. Hey, Denby? Yeah? How long did you say you've been living here? Around two months. Not a bad place, really. There's plenty of room, and nobody comes by, so I've got all the privacy I could want. Well, nobody except you, anyway. I could leave you alone if you want. No, 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 uh, that's not what I meant. It's cool that you're here. It's nice to have someone to talk to. How did you manage to get in here? They didn't do a very good job of boarding up the doors. It was pretty easy to get in. I'm surprised nobody else tried before I did. I mean, there's like not much left in here, but glass is pretty valuable. I might trade it to Clem. Why did you run away? I said I didn't want to talk about it. Well, I do. Is it some problem with your family? Is there anything I can do to help? No, it's just... I felt like I was getting in the way. Mom and Dad have been having a hard time getting us all enough food, and my brother and sister are little, so there's not much they can do for themselves. I figured it would just be better for me to go off on my own. I mean, I still go back and see them and give them anything extra I've got, but I kind of like having my own space, you know? Yeah, I know. Look at you being responsible. I'm so proud of you. Ugh, whatever. No need to be gushy about it. Sounds like he just uh, grew up, basically, and moved out the way that you kind of would. And the only way that really works in this particular society. Does any of the stuff in here still work? Yeah, I, I think the furnace still works. It's connected to the gas, anyway. The gas is still on? Yeah, it's on a natural line, so it's still under pressure even though the power's been cut. I try to keep it off as much as I can, though, just in case. Besides, if you need natural gas, I've pretty much got you covered. Good to know. Just don't light yourself on fire. I'll just leave you to whatever it is you're doing. Thanks. All right. We're going to keep this furnace in mind, and we know how to, we know where to find him now ever since he ran off. Let's see. Can I grab I don't the horse? want to risk damaging it any further. 
Yeah, probably best to just leave it where it is. All right, so we can't play with the horse. I don't see anything here that I would use. And there's just sort of random glass scattered about. Drawings. Oh, artwork, sketch, and drawings. The drawings probably have a different audio log. Hey, these are pretty good. All yours? Yeah, they're okay, I guess. My favorite's the one of the pilot. What are all these signatures? Like I said, I've been practicing copying handwriting. Those are just my practice sheets. It's probably handy. All right, we're going to keep that in mind. If someone has a quirky character trait in an adventure game, that means it's going to be used in a puzzle at some point. Take care of yourself, Denby. I'll try my best. So when I, when I need someone to forge a signature on some kind of document giving me permission to go somewhere or something, that's probably going to be what I need. Do I need that tarp at all? Don't think, don't think I can reach it. I doubt it'll come off the wall. It's been stuck there so long. Remember Blast Day. Support the aristocracy, and you will be supported. I like to remind people of the apocalypse a lot. I can't believe this hasn't been scavenged yet. What in this condition is so tough to find? Oh, there we go. We took some wood. Hmm, what idiot would leave this wood lying around? It's in such good condition. Maybe it's Denby's fault. Nice looking vehicle. Doesn't look like it would take too much to restore it. Just a couple of spark plugs, most likely. I wonder if I have enough of those back in my uh, garage to bring here. I haven't got time to do much scavenging right now. Maybe later. We'll keep that. We'll keep that in mind for later. I might have. I might need to bring spark plugs to this truck to continue. Don't see much ability to continue anywhere. And I can't really go back there anywhere. All right, now we have wood. And we know someone who does signatures. My objectives are to get gas masks and food. I can take a quick look around for spark plugs just, just to see if it, that'll see come up or something. You see their eyes glow red. Let's see here. A bunch of my old projects. Most of them are broken, but they have sentimental value. They're mostly broken, but I can't bring myself to throw them out. There's oil cans, photos, beds, locker. It's empty. I haven't kept anything in there for years. Never mind. Not getting anything from there. Well, I like looking at my childhood knickknacks. None of them will do me any good out there. No time for that now. I've hit a dead end on this thing. Until I find the right parts, there's not much more I can do. I wonder if that's a, a side objective, or maybe, maybe, even, maybe even an important thing, like maybe I ultimately repair the Quicksilver as a result of me going... Oh, there's a PC over here. Maybe as I slowly go around the environment and scavenge, maybe I can finally fix the Quicksilver. The old family computer hasn't worked in years, but I remember playing games on it with Dad. That's fine where it is. The hubcap from the first car I ever worked on. All right, I don't think we're gonna find spark plugs. No, these tools are for restoration work only. I'm not risking damaging them out there. Oh, she's being sentimental, huh? All right. All right, so I need spark plugs, a f I need more, a filter for a gas mask, and I need food. Where's the plank of wood gonna come into play? I'm gonna go ahead and make a save, and then we're gonna have to figure out how to explore. There we go. Name it based on what we just found. All right, right, well, right now the only real lead we have is the gas mask, so I might as well hand him that. See if it relates to some sort of progression. Gordon, I found this gas mask, but the filter is empty. Would it be of any use to you at all? Yes, this is good. If I could get a filter, this would be exactly what I need. Thank you, Amy. Here, I have something you might like to trade. What is it? An aristocrat guard ran through here earlier and dropped his flintlock pistol. It got a bit damaged, but... I figured you might be interested in messing around with it for parts. Yeah, that sounds good. Thanks. And don't worry, I'll find a filter for you, I promise. I'm sure somebody around here has to know something about them. Yeah, now that you mention it, Nelson's probably the guy to see about that. 
He's got books on just about everything. All right, we have another reason to visit the library then. The pistol is only slightly damaged. It hasn't got any bullets, but the flintlock mechanism still looks like it works. Should be useful if I need to light anything on fire. Right. We got our we got our flint and tinder basically. I mean our flint and steel, I mean. All right, let's visit the library yet again. Seems to be our go-to place whenever we need any, any esoteric information to continue. Hi, Nelson. Good to see you, Amy. What can I do for you? I think I'd like to read for a while, if that's okay. Of course. What subject are you interested in reading about? I want to read up on science. Wonderful. I think I've got just the book for you. Come on, filter. Filtration systems. Well, there we go. By Patrick Rad Radke. Several methods of filtration can be used, be it for liquids or gases. However, a very useful material found in most filtration systems is activated carbon. Activated carbon has many uses, such as gas purification, decaffeination, gold purification, metal extraction, water purification, medicine, sewer treatment, air filters and gas masks and respirators, etc. The ease of production of activated carbon makes it one of the most useful materials in modern science. Activated carbon is produced from carbonaceous source materials such as coconut husk, peat, wood, there we go, choir, lignite, or, or coal. It can be, can be produced either by physical or chemical reactivation. Interesting. This information could be pretty useful. In physical reactivation, the source material is developed into active carbons by using the hot gases such as steam or oxygen. It must be heated to an extremely high temperature uh, in the range of 600 to 900 degrees Celsius. In chemical reactivation, the raw material C... Oh, the raw material, i.e. coal or wood, is impregnated with acid, a strong base, or a salt. The raw material is then carbonized at a lower temperature, somewhere in the range of 450 to 900 degrees Celsius. The chemical reactivation is usually the preferred method, due to lower temperature requirements as well as a shorter time needed to activate the material. So, Alright. So we need to heat it up, we need to heat up wood, and we need acid or salt. Huh. Well, we have the wood. We have the wood, we have something to light it with a flintlock pistol. And we have a furnace, but where am I gonna get... Oh! Chalk. Chalk is basic, isn't it? Crap, I'm trying to get, I'm trying to get in my head now. Talc. I'm trying to think of the chemical composition of talc and whether or not it's a base or not. I feel like it is but I'm a few years removed from geology at this point. Let's just give it a shot. I'm back. Hope I'm not interrupting anything. If you're worried about that, you could always try knocking. Fair point. He just sits here and looks sad all day. If I put wood on there like this, it'll just fall on the bottom when I light the furnace. Yeah. And then the burnt smell will linger for days. Okay, so we need we need like a rack. Bucket. The bucket is heat resistant, but it's also empty. The bucket is At least this will make carrying the wood around slightly easier. There we go, now the wood's in the bucket. I've got a piece of wood in my bucket. There was something weirdly funny about hearing her say that. What are you doing? An experiment. Boring. Not when it involves burning stuff. Oh. Well, yeah. That's cool then. Yay, burning stuff. Chalk? I don't think tossing that into the furnace would be a good idea. Why not? You're carrying too much junk. Liberate yourself. Alright. I may be on the wrong track here. What if I try to use the pistol? Maybe I don't need it, a special ingredient? Nothing happened. Well, yeah, the gas isn't on. Oh. How do I turn the gas on? 
Furnace. That furnace could really be useful. Yeah, it's pretty... Not much I can do with the outside of the furnace. It's best just not to touch it. I learned that the hard way. Oh, there's the gas. Can I close the door? Or... Valve. It's okay, I saved like five minutes ago. What could go wrong? And then we all died, the now end. Now we're cooking. What? You're actually gonna cook? No, it was a figure of speech. Oh, thank goodness. I still have nightmares about that lamb stew sometimes. I'll make it again if you don't shut up. Copy that. All right. So now we're burning the wood, but I don't have any special ingredients in the wood. I don't think tossing... Why not? Yeah, that's not really helping out. So this might be a little pointless. But I think that's I think that's why there might be a I think there might be why there's a pile of wood out there is to give me an infinite supply so I can mess up. Now that is a nice sight. Yeah, it really makes this place feel homey. I'm not about to go sticking my hand into a lit furnace. I'll give you my pumpkin if you do. Fat chance. Stick you in the furnace. What if I stick the glass horse in the furnace? What if I shoot the glass horse? I can't just go around shooting everything I see. I have to conserve ammo. That's why you get the arrow back afterwards. I don't want to risk it. Yeah. Yeah, that's not that's not going anywhere. Is it time to turn off the gas? Did I do it? Let's find out. So, did your experiment work? Don't be so nosy, Denby. Nothing in there but ash. <laughs> what? I said. All right. Bucket. My cast iron bucket, it's been incredibly useful over the years, especially because it's heat resistant. I don't think that worked, considering we just have a bucket and no mention of anything else coming with it. All right. There's nothing to I'd be so we need to look for something I can mix in. Time for me to go. Okay, see ya. One guess would be to maybe go by the farm? That might be where I can get more stuff. I'll take a... There we go. So we have more wood. That part's fine. At least this... You can carry that around that way. So yeah, I need a salt or a base. And my first guess would probably be to go to the farm. And see if there's just something on the ground that I didn't notice the first time around. She can cover a lot of ground in a given day. She's, she should be tired by now, frankly. Uh, no thanks. You don't want to get in the corpses? So I don't see much evidence of stuff around here. Oh, did I just click across the screen? And I left. Yeah, there does not seem to be much going on over there. What about over here? I don't think carrying around a severed marble head will help much. It would just weigh me down. Judging from the location, I would say that head belongs to the broken statue. Alright, that doesn't give me a lot to do. I don't think we're going to get much done here. Alright, I think I'm going to go ahead and take a break, guys. Thanks for watching, like always. And next episode, I'm going to be figuring out what my missing ingredient is here. See you guys next time.